Hi guys, Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I'm going to share um, how I plan out my March calendar. I wanted to do it for February, um, but I got so crazy and I didn't really get to do it in time. And I'm still trying to um, master using this uh, because it's my first time using this particular Erin Condren. So I'm using this magnetic um, clip just to hold March in place. But this is the new um, Erin Condren planner that I got. I shared it in a haul last month or earlier this month. Um, and yeah, it's just so much easier to carry around. It's thin as you can see. And there's no weeklies in here. It's just strictly monthlies, which is right up my alley because I don't like double writing everything. And I hope this works out well because I can't really see what I'm doing unless I stand on top of the, the tripod. So for most of this, I'm going to be sitting down here. And then all the stickers that I'm using are the new ones I shared in the haul. There's functional flags, alphabet and illustrations, and then I have these um, daily do-it-all dots. And Colby is next to me, so I'm trying to feed her at the same time to keep her preoccupied. Um, so I have a little list here of like important dates that I want to cover. Um, I always correspond with the kids' school, their Sunday school, their dance school, um, closings and stuff, or anything important in that realm. Um, also, um, I use these um, pens that I got from Target, and I color coordinate this based off how I use my um, calendar, uh, my family calendar that I have a video on as well. So all these colors correlate with the family calendar we have on our fridge, bless you. And then I'm using pink instead of purple because I don't have a purple marker. Um, so the first thing I want to do is write down any birthdays, birthdays or main um, events happening. I'm not like crazy with decorating so this is not like a decorating inspiration video more of a functional way to uh, plan and I'm trying to find just I mean I have a lot of other stickers but I'm just gonna go with these stickers for now because I just don't want to go crazy choosing stickers so um, actually my brother's birthday is um, on the 26th and I keep looking up because I don't know how do you guys even manage how do you film this and like not have the camera like in your way when you film? Any advice on that? Um, so this is my brother's birthday. The next thing is I like to document. Um, oh, and I'm using these gold foil stickers also from um, Aaron Condren. And I like to um, mark actually when Colby has, she just turned one. So I'm just gonna put this to mark that she's 13 months. I feel like after they're a year old, uh, or after they're two years old, you kind of stop marking the monthlies. And now I'm going to go in with any closings or half days that they have for the year. And green, red is like personal. Um, green, light green is school related. So they actually have a half day. Um, and let me use one of these daily stickers just to mark for school purposes. So according to my list, they have um, a half day on the 14th. Also dark green I'm using for their Sunday school. Um, so there are no off days. It's their last full month of CCD. So just like I do in my family calendar, um, I'm gonna just write CCD. I don't really write times on here um, unless it is related to an event or a party because this is just kind of known already, the time and then same thing for work and dance. So another important day is that the girls have their first penance on Saturday the 4th, so I'm going to mark that. And then it is also um, Ash Wednesday. Um, I used to have like cross stickers. I don't think of anything like that. Let me just use this little sticker. Closest thing. I also have a, um, a fundraising event. Let me use this. 
I have a fundraising event. I'll stick with the gold on um, the second. And then on this day is when um, they're gonna pick up the car I'm test driving. Okay, I thought my camera was recording, but I added another event here. I actually double booked myself, so I'm gonna have to see if somebody can cover me. Um, and then also, the girls have a, um, a dress rehearsal here for their competition team. Uh, the time is TBD, so I'm just gonna leave that there for now so I can mark it. And then those are pretty much like the main things I have going on. Um, so everything else I'm just gonna fill in um, work and dance um, and we go six days a week so I don't put times or anything like that I'm just gonna mark it and then mark days I'm supposed to work out and then usually if things get canceled or moved around I write rescheduled or cross it out so I just write WD because the days that I work at the girls dance school is the days they have dance it's only only on Thursdays that I don't work when they're there okay so the only day that I know that I am not working and the kids are not going to dance would be on um, this day so I'm just gonna cross that out because um, I have coverage already. And then I've decided I'm not going to put due dates and stuff like that for posts um, work related because a lot of times things get switched around and I don't look at this every day. I always look at my phone every day. I might um, put them on the sidelines um, just moving into the month like things that I need to do or accomplish um, for the month or maybe I'll do like due dates here. I might do that here. It's going to look at my phone um, and then write some of the things that I have so far. Um, and then this is just just a basic. It's not even really finalized. And I'm gonna put something here. Um, to just kind of cover that up and just make it look somewhat pretty. And these are normally for the weeklies, so these are too big to put there. Um, so let me say, let's make it a best day ever sticker. Oh, I forgot to write in my workouts, so I'm trying to work out at the studio every Wednesday and Friday. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, like these, I can't really use them because this is for the weekly layouts. And I'll probably like add stickers um, as I go on. Like if I go to a random outing, I'll probably add some fun stuff, but I'm not really going to be focusing on decorating um, and as you can see it's just been more functional so if you compare um, February to March obviously there's not much things really in here yet um, I usually add things as we go I don't have any appointments doctor was wise lined up here but I did here and lots of cancellations and reschedules so if you just see this overview you see that I start to, you know, add like some stickers here and there. Um, and then that's yeah, pretty bland, but honestly, simple is like my word for the year. Or minimalistic, I don't know. So I'm just keeping this really simple because I want to be able to maintain this and have it correlate with my family planners. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be sharing more of these if you're interested. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want more um, as I learn how to use this as I go through the year. Alrighty, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye.